this may be a good time to take your little kitties out of the room because we're going to be talking with Dr. Goldstein, <laughs> who's a sex, sex health medicine uh, physician who's quite famous uh, these days. Uh, you know, if you weren't already before, you definitely are now. Dr. Goldstein is mad and uh, he's not taking it anymore. So, Dr. Goldstein, <laughs> what are you mad about? So, we finally, 17 years after Viagra, have a drug for women. And there are lots of reports that are just completely inaccurate about this new product. And it's going to help a lot of people. And I had just had a woman on the phone yesterday, and she, I said, you have low interest. Why don't you consider this drug? Well, I read that it only causes one sexual event better than a month. I don't know that I want to do that. Interesting. You're so, like, where did you read that? So basically, <laughs> the last time you were here, it was a huge deal because the drug had just been okayed by the FDA. Correct. And now you're going to clear up some myths. So let's play a game. Let's okay. start. All right? <laughs> okay, okay. Myth one. Well, or is it? I'm doing a factor fiction. Okay. So factor true or fiction. false? True, true or false. false? True or false? Women had only one more satisfying event a month on this drug. Fiction. Very much fiction. Okay. So, so the point. I don't know where that even started, but it's statistically significantly helpful against placebo for a sexual desire, for losing distress about your sexual desire, and for a thing called satisfying sexual like events. Maybe two times or three times or every day? Um, it, Any time you take it? And, no, so you have to take it every night. Oh, interesting. And around two weeks later, you start to see the effects of oh. it. So it's actually pretty quick. Okay. And you just stay on this. It, it, it uh, causes a little bit of somnolence, so that helps you sleep at night. So it's a double okay. benefit. Okay, let's do the next one. <laughs> true or false? All right, true or false. Okay. Chrissy, you cannot drink while using Addy. Um, fact. It no. is a fact. Really? You're not supposed to drink. Oh. But, but that makes everybody a little bit uh, nervous. So let's go over two facts, okay? okay. First fact is that in the 11,000 people in this trial, they were not told to drink or not to drink. Okay. Most people drink socially. Okay. The, the dropout rate because of side effects was between 1% and 1.7% for side effects like uh, dizziness or somnolence wow. or nausea. So yeah. it wasn't a huge issue. Now, the FDA wanted to learn more about the alcohol effect. So to be in this trial, you had to have a half a bottle of wine oh. or a full bottle of wine in 10 minutes in the morning with no food before. That and sounds terrible. And if you terrible. then took the drug oh against not taking the drug, you had more somnolence. So because of that, there's a black box warning that says do not drink. So oh. those are the facts. Okay. You're told not to drink, but you now have facts to make your choice of how to drink okay. or not to drink. Now your choice. We're going to do one more. Okay. And so which, which true or false would you like to do of the ones that you have left? This will be used as a date rape drug. Oh. Um, <laughs> fact? No. It no? can't be used as a date rape no? drug. No. Okay. Because you've got to take goodness. it every day. It takes 15 days to work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not this used is, as a date rape drug. So guys can't like crush through. it up and slip it into your drink and then you pass out. That won't do that. No, that's you something it. else. Yeah. yeah, that just doesn't happen. It, it just does doesn't not work. happen. You don't have to worry about this. The okay. FDA looked into that. They're they're totally okay with that. Okay. So there's two issues. Uh, one is we're still doing trials on women yeah. who have low interest. We're developing new drugs for them. Mm -hmm. Second thing is we're doing sex in our city at Alvarado Hospital. It's oh, a free, yeah. public, open forum to discuss issues about women's sexual health October 20th, okay. starting at 6 o'clock to Aww. 8 p.m. You guys, you and Sue, your wife, you guys do really good work. And we're work. going to the launch I on know. Tuesday. I'm going to launch. I'm so excited. Keep us posted. I and will. How I'll that take goes. a lot of photos. <laughs> yeah, that'll be great. Uh, Dr. Goldstein, thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. All right, guys, uh, that's it for this game. You're gonna go. We're gonna go outside now for another game that it does involve alcohol.